on and on and on and adding all kinds of neat things to it. Well, I'm adding a solar system above the moonscape, right up here in the right-hand corner. I'll start by drawing the sphere of the uh, planet. We'll add a whole bunch of planets to make that solar system going off and to the right. And we'll use that magic word, density. We're going to make the, mount the planets get lighter and lighter as they go back into the distance. There's my first planet. I'll draw almost like a planet Saturn cloud ring around the left-hand side here, stretching off the end. See, not keeping close, but stretching off. Then draw the next planet back here, really loose and sketchy, and then make another ring. See, I just sketch in real lightly. Looks kind of sloppy now, huh? But then you go back with a darker pen and you outline it and make it nice, neat, and tidy, real pleasing to the eye. But you try not to drop your pencils like I just did. Draw the top of the planet all on the top. And then I'm going to draw that four shortened ring looping in front. Coming around here, coming across. Now, here's the important part. Stretching the ends out like a four shortened circle or four shortened ripple, like you did on a cattail in the water or like the planet Saturn we did. Stretch it way out, you see? Way out on the end, and then come back in close and follow right along here. Is it drawing fun? I always get in a real good mood when I start drawing my Secret City mural because it's my favorite part. It's all my creativity just pouring out on the paper. You can do anything you want to your secret cities. You can make a forest or an ocean or planets or spaceships or creatures or robots. Boy, the list goes on and on, huh? All the way down here. And, you know, anyone can learn how to draw, right? I bet you've taught your brother and your sister and all your friends how to draw already, haven't you? You have your own secret city club started. All this neat detail. See how I'm using variety? Some of the slants go this way, then I slant the uh, cloud vapors going the opposite way, then I slant one going this way. Using some interesting designs, keeping in mind balance and contrast. Some composition in here with the flying saucers on the left and the planets on the right. We've added a lot of neat things to the secret city. Let's take a look at it. Lots of neat ideas for your own secret city, huh? Remember, if you run out of room on your paper, no problem. There's always tape, right? You can just tape more pieces of paper together. And you can even go vertical or horizontal with taping paper together. I think I'll add, oh, two or three more planets up here. I'll draw this four shortened circle almost wrapping vertically around my planet. Stretch it way out. And come back in. See, using variety, and I'll make this one coming across like a normal... Saturn planet over here and then it gets hazy and hazy in the background where the rings aren't quite as distinct and a couple more way back in the background now the shading comes to be an important part here because you have to make it look like a sphere so nice and dark on the left side the sunlight's coming from way up in the right corner so we'll follow the shading that we did on the flying saucer on the clouds and on the space station down here and also on the landing bowl for the flying saucers we shade the left side so i'll be consistent with my shading and continue it down the left side of the sphere of the planet all the way down here i'm using the scribble technique now you can use the dot technique or the cross hatching technique see how it makes it look round i'm leaving it bright up here you can even use color to shade if you wanted to nice and dark underneath the ring here and gets lighter and lighter as it moves up toward the sunlight 
all the way up. Now remember that magic word density, how things get hazier and fainter and less distinct as they go further away? Well, Elmo will show you density. Density, really important because, see, it makes your drawing look really three-dimensional. The near objects are clear and distinct. They get hazy as they get further away. Same idea as what I'm using up here on the solar system or my planets going back into the distance. Adding shading underneath here, leaving those rings nice and bright and light. I'm just going to go through and highlight those in a second. I want to get the shading here, the shading here underneath, and underneath here, and underneath here. And the fun part comes when I get some color highlights on here. Draw a color highlight on this planet right here. I think I'll make the ring of the planet a nice orange ring wrapping around. Make it look really interesting, huh? And then I'll add an orange wing, ring, cloud ring around here. And then an orange planet way back in the background. Well, a light blue planet will be this planet. See, different colors. Make a little more interesting drawing. And then I'll go through and blend it with my finger, clean up the drawing a little bit. And then I'll add a blue ring around this planet. And how about a purple ring? Let me get my color purple. And a purple color wrapping around here at the top. That's a nice color, isn't it? In fact, I like that so much, I'll make this planet back here purple, too. And then I'll make the very distant planet back in the... See, using density, I just kind of put dots back there to represent that there's lots more planets going back into the background. And the lime green for the, this planet back in the background. Nice contrast of colors, isn't it? Thinking of balance and composition. A little more yellow on this little guy right here just to make him look more profound and like he's really part of the drawing there we go draw 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 practice your drawing every day stay in a super